KP classes dedicated to excellence. Hello everyone. Assam Public Service Commission earlier in the month of January of this year 2025 released a notification for the requirement of assistant architect. There were a total of four vacancies. The detailed video on this notification we have already put it out on our YouTube channel where we discussed about the number of vacancies, the eligibility criteria and the selection procedure for the post of assistant architect uh, in the public works department of the government of Assam which the exam of which is being conducted by Assam Public Service Commission. In this video we will be discussing about the syllabus of this examination and the course structure we at KPGate classes have developed a preparatory course particularly for Assam Public Service Commission Assistant Architect requirement and in this video we will look into the details of the course structure as well but first let us have a look on the official syllabus which has been released on the website of the Assam Public Service Commission. If you look into the official syllabus uh, you can see that there will be two papers paper 1 and paper 2 for the selection for the requirement test. Uh, remember this is a direct requirement and there could be an interview round however but this will be a permanent post in the government of Assam's public works department. So there are two papers like uh, for other requirement tests also of APSC there will be two papers. Paper one is general studies which will be a two hour examination with 100 marks of weightage. Generally there will be 100 questions for this two hour examination so that's the general pattern in Assam public service commission however in the syllabus document just the number of marks is mentioned the number of questions is not yet mentioned probably will need to wait for an official announcement of the scheme of the exam paper as well but generally it is 100 questions for uh, the APSC question papers in the past also so there will be 100 questions with 100 marks weightage uh, with the two hour duration that is paper one general studies which includes uh, the topics of polity geography history you can see the syllabus which has been mentioned there are eight points mentioned which includes the details of the current events of uh, national and international importance history of India and uh, India and also history of Assam then you have the world geography including India and also Assam Indian economy Indian nation movement also you have uh, mental ability in included in this paper one which basically includes the topics of reasoning and reasoning ability you have role and impact of science and technology Indian polity and political system and Indian culture these are the topics mentioned for the paper one which is not specific to architecture and topics of architecture and planning now moving on to the second paper now before even before I move on to second paper let me tell you also about a course the course which we have for the APSC assistant architect requirement test we try to include some of the syllabus some of the topics of paper one as well so it's not not only architecture topics some topics of paper one are included however some are some specific topics and some additional topics which might be missing you might need to cover uh, we have listed down this so there's a course structure document you'll find the link of our course for APSC assistant architect in the description of this video as well if you check out the course there's a course structure document also uploaded as a part of the course along with the official syllabus in the course structure document you will find the detailed list of all the subjects included in the course and uh, what subjects are further to be covered in paper 1 and paper 2 for your self study all that is properly categorically mentioned in the course structure document which you can refer to in the uh, course link which has been provided in the description of the video now moving on to the paper 2 syllabus that also has same weightage and same duration it will also be a two hour examination will be for 100 marks it is expected to have 100 questions for these 100 marks and this is going to be a multiple choice question both paper one and paper two these are not descriptive questions both are going to be omr based screening test omr as in the sheet you, it's not a computer based test it is a o o omr based uh, sheet, uh, question paper based test and it's a mcq based question paper uh, mcq based uh, test which will have four options where every question question will have four options. Now coming to the second paper that is architecture part there are a total of 10 topics which are mentioned 10 sections which are mentioned in the syllabus as you can see to so just let me broadly take you through some details of it you can check out the detailed syllabus the link for the course is given like I said on our mobile app KP gate classes mobile app you will have this course wherein the official syllabus document is also provided you can check out the link in the description. 
the first section theories of architecture and principles of design majorly it includes the subject of principles of design understanding uh, color theory and also various other design principles so that's the first section the second section is focused on history of architecture which includes indian history of architecture western history of architecture and also modern architecture that as all that is also mentioned in the syllabus as you can see some particular co uh, contributions of some particular architects and architects in the works like bb doshi charles korea have also been mentioned in the syllabus which probably could be an extension other than lectures you can also focus on various architects and the works from your end too so that's the second section moving on to the third section you have materials and construction technique wherein the focus is mainly on various building materials including concrete uh, as a material properties of concrete types and variety of concrete then you have ferrous metals thermal insulation timber its types the seasoning and defects of timber preservation techniques of timber so that is included in the third section under building materials then you have the fourth section which is building system and services which mainly includes building services including wastewater uh, sewage system basically water distribution and water treatment uh, then you have elevators and escalators as well included uh, you have electrical services and refrigeration air conditioning and finally fire safety these are the topics mentioned under the building services the fourth section the fifth section includes uh, the traditional and uh, cultural studies mainly focused on the study of cult uh, uh, vernacular architecture uh, that's the third, fifth section. Then the sixth section is focused on urban studies, wherein uh, you need to cover the subjects of uh, conservation and also urban design, the concepts of urban design, including the famous urban design principles like imageability and so on. Then you have the topic of environmental studies under the seventh section, which includes not only landscape and ecology, but it also includes topics which include passive design techniques and and also passive solar architecture and waste management including solid waste management that is section number seven section number eight you have urban and rural housing which includes mainly urban housing housing design and the principles of urban housing uh, then you have uh, number nine that is rules regulations and legal framework wherein there are regulations with respect to zonal regulations development control rules that uh, the development control regulations for housing uh, national building code guidelines for fire safety ventilation and other services environmental laws including environment protection act and also environmental impact assessment probably and green uh, building concepts including the energy conservation building code so these are the topics mentioned under rules and regulations this particular section as far as our course is considered a lot of standards are covered in respective topics including like for example development controls major part of that portion of standards is covered under the housing under housing standards uh, standards of the national building code from fire safety point of view are covered in the fire safety topic so, uh, the national building code guidelines with respect to ventilation are covered in the ventilation hvac topic so most of the standards are covered in the uh, subjects concerned subject which are already included in earlier sections other than that some topics which you can further study for yourselves including say environmental laws and the green building concepts reference documents other than the study material of course doesn't only include the recorded lectures you have practice tests study material online study material books and also other reference documents which are standard documents like the energy conservation building code the barrier free guidelines actually moving further in the under 10th section the current trends and issues you have use of gis in planning and you also have uh, various other topics including right to information and also barrier free design now reference documents including barrier free design has also been included under the reference documents in the course so uh, the course is designed comprehensively to cover everything of the syllabus might not cover 100% in the lectures itself but you have additional access uh, documents including study material and also reference documents which are some standards all included in one place under the course on a mobile app like I said you can check out the link for our course in the description of this video let me briefly also take you through the course the link once you click on the link you can access this particular page wherein you can go through the overview the details of the course have been mentioned uh, with respect to the features what is included what are the, uh, uh, the technical aspects of the course what all you can access through it and then you can check out the content there are some free content also including the syllabus and the course structure which you can check out these details even before purchasing the course check out the course structure the uh, course the lectures have been divided as you can see there are uh, close to 80 lectures uh, in all for your course so the date of APS is not yet out so you can utilize these 80 lectures or close to 80 lectures for your preparation 
uh, for your thorough preparation 75 to 80 lectures are provided once you cover this uh, we, it will give you uh, it will cover majority of your syllabus uh, but for further study other than those lectures uh, there are some reference documents class presentations also included for the lectures then uh, you can also access the online study material the books by kpg classes which are particularly designed for competitive examinations you can check out those study material books there are various test practice tests which are subject wise topic wise tests included in the part of the test series and also the reference documents have been provided for your self practice of the uh, 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 for, for yourself study for the study of some standard uh, standard uh, topics like barrier free design like I for instance said you can check out all the details actually what are the reference documents included in the course environment protection act the UADPFI guidelines the ECBC the newer version of ECSBC basically that of 2024 the vernacular architecture of Assam particularly there are some reference documents for that also provided for you uh, so this comprehensive course can make you uh, 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 so, so will give you the level of confidence you need to clear this competitive examination for the permanent requirement of assistant architect in the government of assam the public works department i hope this video was informative for you on the syllabus of this particular course or uh, so syllabus of this particular post for any further query you can reach out to us on the contact number given in the description of this video thank you